We recently stayed at the Wyndham Grand Orlando Resort, Bonnet Creek. It was a great choice for our trip to Disney when we were not going into the parks. We were doing all of the things around the parks. We wanted something that was close to Disney, but super affordable and also gave us a easy place to stay that was child friendly. We did have our two kids with us. So we really liked the fact that there were multiple restaurants, a coffee shop, which we used, and we also had access to multiple pools and to a couple different kid-friendly things like a lazy river and splash park. So it was kind of hard to figure out where to go for the pools because there is a super cool pirate area at the timeshare next door and hotel guests can use that pool, but it wasn't really easy to find and we did have issues with finding someone to tell us where to go. The room itself was really pretty decent. It wasn't anything fancy. I think they say that it's a Mediterranean style hideaway type thing and there were maybe some touches but honestly it's really just a very basic hotel room. The room was clean, it was modern, and it was comfortable. The beds were really comfortable and we did get a room with bunk beds for my kids which was actually really great. That was an upgrade from the room we booked so they upgraded us once we got to the hotel and we didn't originally have the little second room with the bunk beds but that turned out to be the best possible option for us so if you do have kids I highly recommend getting one of those rooms it was really useful it was a very comfortable and quality option but if you are looking for something that is very themed or very over the top this is not going to be it for you I would highly recommend this be your choice if you don't care at all about the hotel you're at you really just want a affordable rate if you are going to be in the pools or if you're going to be out of your room all the time, this is a fine option. But with actual Disney hotels nearby, kind of around the same price, I think that you can get a lot more of a really like great trip with a lot of the theming and specific Disney perks at the other hotels. With that being said, the hotel is really nice. We did enjoy our stay there. Everything was great. I did use the coffee shop multiple times. It was really nice. The location was great. We did go to Disney Springs and some water stuff, so that was really nice. It is a Walt Disney World Gateway Hotel, and they do have shuttle transportation, and you can purchase theme park tickets in advance with them. So they do have some Disney connections, but it's not quite the same as getting early access and staying on a Disney property in the parks. So just keep that in mind if you're thinking of it for your Disney vacation. I did love that we had a great view. It was really picturesque. It was beautiful. There's a nice lake in the back and then our room was facing out toward the road and we could see a golf course nearby. There was a lot of stuff to do outside at the hotel with the lake and walking paths and all the pools and lazy rivers. So if you want some extra stuff, I think that it's a good choice. The walking path is really nice. There were a lot of fish and ducks and rabbits and birds. My little one was really happy with all of the things we saw around the lake, which was super fun as well. If you're wanting to do a Disney trip and stay at this particular resort, you should probably want to be in charge of your transportation. I think that if you are planning already to drive everywhere, if you're gonna to drive to the park so you have your car and you have that option, this is a great choice because the resort is beautiful, the pools and amenities are nice, it's not necessarily overly themed or anything, but it's a great choice and very, very affordable.